Welcome back. I'm Francesca Page, and here's your Newsmax Now update. House Republicans are set to unveil a short-term spending bill to battle the Ebola outbreak. House Appropriations Committee Chairman Harold Rogers says the bill contains millions of dollars to pay for the government's response to the Ebola outbreak in Western Africa. However, there's no mention of additional funding to deal with the crisis at the U.S.-Mexico border. And right now, President Obama is meeting with congressional leaders to detail his plan on how to combat Islamic radicals. The president hopes to get members of Congress to buy into his plan. And the president will ask Congress for $5 billion in funds in order to combat ISIS militants. Obama's meeting with Congress comes just one day before his much-anticipated speech tomorrow night. The White House says Obama will speak at 9 p.m. from the White House. Also happening in Washington today, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid says Congressman Cassidy should apologize for comments he made. Louisiana's Republican congressman says that Reid ran the Senate like a plantation. And if there were ever a, a statement that deserved an apology, this is it big time. I mean, uh, has he been taking uh, lessons from Donald Sterling? Where did he get this? And convicted terrorist Jose Padilla received a new 21-year prison sentence today. Padilla's sentence was initially set at 17 years, but a district judge ruled this was too lenient. Padilla was arrested by FBI agents in 2002 for conspiring with al-Qaeda to detonate an explosive inside the U.S. He was convicted of supporting al-Qaeda and conspiracy in 2007. And a new Inspector General's report now confirms that managers at more than a dozen VA medical centers lied to investigators about scheduling and other issues. Richard Griffin testified on Capitol Hill today about his investigative report involving multiple charges levied against VA clinics across the U.S. These allegations include delays which caused veterans to wait months for much-needed care. Investigators found that attempts to cover up those delays were widespread across the VA's network of almost 1,000 hospitals and other facilities. And Nike is severing ties with former NFL player Ray Rice. A spokesman for the sports gear giant confirmed they ended their endorsement deal with the former Ravens. A spokesman for the sports gear giant confirmed they ended their endorsement deal with the former Ravens running back. The Baltimore Ravens also terminated Rice's contract and the NFL has suspended him indefinitely. And Apple's CEO Tim Cook introduced a series of gadgets today. The tech giant unveiled a new Apple Watch in addition to introducing two new iPhone models. Apple says the watch is a completely customizable timepiece that will sync with users' iPhones. In addition to telling time, the phone doubles as a health and fitness device. That's your Newsmax Now update. Now back to the Steve Molesberg Show.